What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which as you can see by the title, today's video, it's it's basically like a personal fashion wish list. We're pretty much going to be going through a load of different items that I am desperate to get my hands on. But on top of that, if you, I guess, maybe know somebody that has kind of similar taste to me in terms of fashion, then there's also going to be some amazing kind of Christmas gift ideas throughout this video. But before we do get into it, I do want to say a huge thank you to the amazing team over at Nord Green for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. So Nord Green guys are a Scandinavian watch brand, which as you can see has this beautiful kind of like minimalistic design. So definitely right up my street when it comes to, I guess, watch aesthetic. It fits perfectly and organically into my kind of minimalistic style. An amazing Christmas gift idea for maybe like your brother, your boyfriend, your dad. But on top of that, I also have a 15% discount code. I'll put that up on the screen for you guys right now. But a big thank you again to Nord Green for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk a little bit more about this later on in the video. Before we do jump into the wish list, guys, let's smash that thumbs up button because it really does help kind of push the video out there. And if you are new to the channel from this video, be sure to hit subscribe as well for more men's fashion content every single week. All right, so we're gonna split this up into three different categories. We're gonna go footwear, we're gonna go tops, and we're also gonna go legwear. But we'll start things off from the bottom and we'll go footwear. So the first item, guys, on today's wish list has to be the Axel Arigato Marathon Runners in the white and orange colorway. Such a beautiful sneaker. You will know that I'm an absolute sucker for chunky sneakers. You know, I've got the Balenciaga tracks in a couple of different colorways. I have the um, brushed black Axel Arigato Marathon Runners, which I have absolutely loved styling recently, by the way. Just the all round kind of shape and style of the sneaker in general is perfect. So it's only natural that I'm kind of gravitating towards copying them in another colorway. On top of that, guys, these are also a lot more affordable than the Balenciaga tracks. So these are coming in at 200 pounds. So hands down, a welcomed addition to my sneaker rotation. So next up, the second piece of footwear on the wish list has to be the Balenciaga track sandals. Now, I know what you're saying. Obviously, right now, we're bang in the middle of winter, so I wouldn't be getting too much wear out of them as of now. That being said, they're definitely still making my wish list. These, these are so, so sick. Super chunky, as you'd expect being a Balenciaga track. And just imagine in the summer, these would hit differently. Now guys, they are available in a few different colorways, but for me personally, I'm kind of leaning towards either white or black. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below, if you had to choose between the white and the black, what would you go with? I'm kind of leaning towards the white. But yeah, guys, just imagine some of the summer fits in these sandals would look so, so good. So fingers crossed, I fingers crossed I managed to get my hands on them. Okay, so last of the footwear, but potentially the kind of most out there. And this is the Prada Monolith Derby. Now, in terms of a shoe, this, this is right up my street. If I'm personally wearing a Derby, this kind of statement chunky version is going to be the one. They're kind of like a beefed up version of the Doc Martin 1461s. Now guys, what I will say is these are definitely coming in at a very steep £705. So obviously, definitely not on the more affordable side of things. But at the same time, that's why they're in my wish list and not in a recent pickups. But just imagine these paired with my black wide leg crop trousers would look so, so good. You know, they have that kind of exaggerated chunky midsole, which is obviously something that I always kind of look for. It's such a nice shoe, but who knows, maybe one day. So moving on now guys, on to tops. And the first piece that I wanna talk about that is on my wish list is the Cole Buxton knit. This, this is a beautiful piece. You guys already know, being Cole Buxton, the quality 
is going to be on point. So these are coming in at £229. Again, obviously not the cheapest, but as you know, you're definitely getting what you pay for with these guys. The quality, like I said before, is always, it's top notch. It's made from Italian spun merino wool. It's the perfect fit. It's oversized, but at the same time has a slight crop in the body. Guys, it's it's just the perfect knit. It also comes in three different colorways. You have mild gray, you have black, and you also have natural. But yeah, guys, I couldn't do a wish list and not include this knit. It's such a nice piece. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys were to cop, which color would you go with? Now, guys, before we move on, let's take a minute to again thank Nord Green for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. Firstly, today's video is obviously like a wish list slash gift idea type video. And honestly, this watch is genuinely, like I said before, an amazing gift idea for maybe your brother, your boyfriend, or even your dad. Now guys, I opted for the watch in the philosopher style, but this time I, I actually went with the bundle option. So as you can see, this option gives you two different straps which are interchangeable. So we have the rubber strap and we also have the genuine leather strap. Now, as you can see, the watch has this beautiful minimalistic design. So really is perfect for the minimal style anesthetic that I personally go for. So if you or maybe you know somebody that has a similar style to me, then this is definitely a great option this Christmas. And if you do order it before the end of the 18th of December, it will also come in time for Christmas. Now guys, what's great about Nord Green is they are a sustainable and ethical brand that does genuinely care about the community and the environment. For example, all the packaging is eco-friendly, it's all upcycled plastic, so you can just tell that a lot of focus, energy and time goes into kind of keeping the brand sustainable, which is obviously great to see. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you are on the market for a last minute gift idea for like a loved one or something like that, then this is a great option. As always, all the links to everything about Nord Green will be linked in the description box down below. So go and check them out if you do wish to do so. But again, a big thank you to the guys over at Nord Green for sponsoring today's video and really supporting the channel. Right guys, so moving on, the next item on my wish list is, is probably a piece that you guys have seen styled quite a lot over on Instagram, and that is the funnel neck sweater from Ami Paris. This is honestly such a beautiful knit. The cut is just perfect with the slight crop in the length, but as well as that, the funnel neck just looks like it falls and sits perfectly. So it does come in a few different color options, but to be honest guys, for me, it has to be the off-white color. Like I can just imagine styling this with a really like tonal look, maybe some like stone trousers, like a beige tote bag, um, maybe my beige and grey Balenciaga tracks. I just think like a really creamy tonal look would look so, so good. So yeah, guys, the Ami Paris sweater is definitely making my wish list and hopefully, hopefully I can find it in like a January sale or something and add it to my wardrobe soon. All right then, guys, so moving on from tops and onto what is, what is probably my favourite piece of an outfit. It's definitely what I choose first and kind of build my outfit around. And that is, of course, legwear. So the first piece of legwear on my wish list easily has to be the all new Summit sweatpants that are dropping. I don't know the exact date. If I can find it out, I'll put it up on the screen, but they're dropping soon. Um, I seen Summit like kind of like post a sneak peek of these over on their Instagram recently. and right away they caught my eye. What I really love about these is the actual fit. Obviously your normal jogger like my illicit block or my Cole Buxton ones are a slimmer fit with a like cuff on the bottom. But as you can see these Summit ones don't have the cuff on the bottom and they are a lot wider in the leg as well. So as soon as I seen these they really did catch my eye. So in terms of actual color options you've got three different choices. You have washed grey, you have mild grey and you also have jet black. So I'm going to be getting these. So let me know in the comment section down below which 
out of those three different colors do you think I should get? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, so moving on to item number seven. And this, this is a piece that, this is a piece that has been on my wish list for such a long time now. And that is the Izzy Miyake pleated trousers. You guys know that this has kind of been on my wish list for such a long time. And to be honest, it's, it's, it's time I pulled the plug. I genuinely do think it's actually time I bite the bullet because I've wanted these for such a long time and you can get them in multiple different colors, multiple different fits. But I think I would probably go with the slightly cropped fit in the leg, very similar to my black wide leg crop fit pants that I got from ASOS. But yeah guys, these are honestly such a beautiful trouser and like I said before, they're a pair that I have wanted for such a long time. Now with the pleats being so like deep and I guess heavily visible, it kind of enhances the fact that they are a bit of a statement piece when it comes to trousers, especially in comparison to what I already have. So they would definitely be a welcomed addition to my trouser rotation. Next up guys, item number eight on the wish list is the running cargo trousers in the washed walnut colorway. And I know I've kind of said this about everything, but honestly, these absolutely bang. And it's something that I, it's something that I haven't already got kind of like in my wardrobe. They come in four different colorways. You have walnut, olive, stone, and black. And to be honest, Every single colorway is insane. But for me, the two standout colors is the washed walnut and probably the washed stone. But like I said before, this really is a like style of trousers that I don't currently have in my rotation. So it would be a great addition. Just imagine kind of pairing these um, washed walnut cargos with my like chunky, Arket boots and maybe even my like oversized Uniqlo worker jacket. That kind of outfit would just look so sick. But yeah, guys, they're all garment dyed. They're all pre-shrunk. They're 305 GSM, so nice and heavyweight. And on top of that, they're coming in at 115 pound too. So, in my opinion, relatively affordable for the quality of piece that you'd be getting. So there we have it, guys. That is my end of year wish list. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can kind of get our hands on some of them pieces going into 2021. As always guys, definitely let me know in the comment section down below, which out of all those pieces do you personally vibe with? And also let me know, is there any pieces that you guys currently have in your wish list? Let me know in the comment section down below. And again, a big, big thank you to the guys over at Nord Green for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. Like I said before, be sure to use the code NATE, which is N-A-T-E. Use that code, get 15% off your entire order. And if you order before the 18th or before the end of the 18th of December, you are guaranteed delivery for Christmas as well. So use the code. But again, a big thank you to the guys over at Nord Green for supporting the channel. Before we do head off, I would really appreciate it if you could hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active every single day and it also gives you guys a behind the scenes look into me like making these videos and just my day-to-day -day life in general. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, drop me a follow over on my Instagram. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.